God bless you guys. Coach Timothy here. I pray that you've all had a wonderful, wonderful day and so far a wonderful week. And I'm here today because I'm, I'm bringing a, a, a dream that the Lord gave me and that I want to share with all of you to encourage you. And as with all prophetic dreams and words of encouragement that I release on this channel, I do want to go before the Lord in prayer. So, Father God, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for yet another opportunity that you're giving me to be able to uh, share with what, uh, what you're saying in this hour to your people, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for the revelation. I thank you for the dreams, for the visions. I thank you for your prophetic words of encouragement, Lord God, for the warnings, for everything that you do for us, Father. I thank you, Father. Father, I decrease myself now that you may increase in me, Lord God, and I ask that you would have your way. I ask that you would put your hand upon my mouth and put your finger upon my tongue to guide my words, that they may comfort, edify, and exhort your people, Lord God, to encourage them, Lord God, in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and decree that no weapon formed against me or this word shall prosper in every tongue that rises up against me or this word in judgment, I do now condemn. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and decree that it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. So um, if this is your first time to the channel, God bless you. Welcome to the channel. Um, I am Coach Timothy. And do me a favor, hit the like, share, and subscribe button so that you can get notifications. And not that hit that bell so that you can get notifications of when I'm uploading a video or going live, um, as I tend to do with um, the intercessory prayer that I offer on every Monday night at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There you can come in and you can leave your uh, prayer request in the prayer. And I will get to your prayer request. Um, and there are also other intercessors that will be praying for you as well in that chat. So feel free to come on there in the intercessory prayer on Monday evenings at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, also, there are other things on this channel. Feel free to look around the channel. You can also look in the description of the channel. You'll find all of my information if you want to reach out to me or if you feel led by the Lord to sow into the channel, you can do so. All of the information is there. Um, also... Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Also links to if you desire like mentorship or one-on-one -on -one coaching or voice lessons or anything like that, all of that information is also listed in the description box, all right? So with that being said, I'm gonna get to this dream that the Lord gave me on September 2nd, 2024. So the t I'm gonna title this this uh, video, um, your help, your destiny helpers are about to show up because that's what this dream was telling me about. The whole theme of the dream that God gave me was about receiving help, okay? And so I'm gonna read what I have here and then I'm gonna break down the interpretation of what the Lord showed me about the dream. So in the dream, I was already admitted to the hospital as a patient and was trying to get some help when suddenly a nurse gave me a machine, a huge machine to begin working in the hospital. I was pushing around a huge breathing machine. Um, I was stepping on oxygen tubes in the hallways as I was walking. Just a moment, sorry. I ran into a black nurse who was fussing at me about stepping on the oxygen tubes. And I told her, look, I wasn't supposed to be doing this job anyway because I'm the patient. And we both laughed. Um, I kept walking through the halls until I reached um, a person that I knew in the dream uh, who was working behind the, a desk as a clerk or something of that nature. When I approached her, she was on her laptop doing something she didn't want me to see. When I tried to look, so she put the screen down so I couldn't see and looked like, don't be trying to look at you know what I'm doing. I then saw... Um, the dancer, entertainer, um, a famous celebrity named Big Les. Um, her real name is Leslie um, Segar. And so I ran up to her, begging her to help me because I wasn't supposed to be working because I was a patient and not a worker. So she walked up to the person that I knew at the, at the desk with me again, and she asked her to do some research to prove that I was a patient. And at first she told the person that I knew uh, to do something illegal. And I said, no, if she does it, she could lose her job. And when I say illegal, it wasn't really illegal. It was something that she told her to do something that could get her in trouble with her job um, because they can track the IP address back to her is what I said. Uh, 
Then the person that I knew asked me for my info saying that I was a patient. So I lifted up my wrist to show her my, um, my hospital bracelet. So, uh, and that is when I was shocked to realize that my hospital bracelet was gone. And although I was still in a hospital gown, I had now become a worker in the hospital and indeed no longer a patient. And then I woke up from the dream. So the word, the, the scripture that the Lord gave me to use for this dream was Exodus chapter 14, verse 15. It says, and the Lord said unto Moses, wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. So that's what this word is about. This dream is about God is, um, uh, he wants me to share this word with you guys because the, you're getting ready to move forward and you're getting ready to receive your destiny helpers. So I'm going to go back and just dissect this dream of what I mean by this. So in the dream, I was already admitted. So a hospital, just so you know, a hospital represents a place of change. It represents a place of transformation it rep in a dream, in a dream. So it represents a place of transformation, a place of change, a, a, a place of healing, right? So, um, being that I was a patient, it represented me going through a transformational process. Now, I remember that some years ago, I had another dream about being in the hospital. And so I was the patient then. And so this time I was sitting in my bed. And when I was sitting in my bed, um, I was calling for help, but I was complete. I felt fine. I looked fine. Everything about me was normal. I looked, I looked healed. Right. And so I was just sitting up in the bed and I was calling for help, but no one was call was coming to my aid. So this is uh, represents someone. Um, um, it, it, it for my situation, it could have been that, or it was that I was, you know, looking, seeking people to help me to be able to get to the point to where, where God was telling me to get to. Um, for some of you, you have been waiting for a, a while for the Lord. Um, for the Lord's help to come to you. You've been crying out to the Lord. You've been crying out saying, God, help me. God, help me. I need your help. I need your help. And, and it seems like your, your, your cries for help have not been answered. And part of the reason is because you haven't received, um, or I should say it like this, you, you feel like you haven't received what God promised you just yet. And you've been saying, God, I need this. I, I need you to help me with this. I need you to help me make it through. I need you to help me. And, and you feel like you've been alone in this, like you've been in this just waiting process and you've just been sitting and waiting. Um, when the nurse showed up and she gave me this huge machine, like it was a huge machine. To be quite honest, it looked like a photocopier machine, like the ones that you have in the big photocopier machines in the office. Um, that's what it kind of looked like, but it was a breathing machine. It was to help, it was to help give oxygen to other people. And so, um, when, when, when the nurse gave that to me, she gave it to me and told me to start walking through the halls. And so the scene actually kind of skipped. And when the scene skipped, I was walking through the hallway with this, this machine. Right. And I was stepping on these like they were Y tubes, not the tubes that you put in your nose, the tubes that you put in your mouth. Like if you can't breathe and you need help breathing like a breathing machine. So it was like that. So I saw those tubes on the ground. And so um, I, when I saw them, you know, I was stepping over them, not trying, trying not to step on them. So the machine that I had, and as the nurse was telling me that I needed to walk through those halls, I was realizing that I was being now um, no longer a patient but I was being now called to do the work um, to help give the breath of life to other people, meaning to, to, to lead them to the refreshing, to help others who are in the hospital of transformation, right? Who are in transformational stages to be able to help them to get to the next place where God is sending them um, for them to be able to reach their promised land. Um, the, the, the breath the, the breathing machine, the machine was an apparatus to help give life, right? To, the breathing represents life. It represents having life. And so I was giving um, these people, like the tubes that were on the ground, these were people, how can you say it, like lifelines. So even though I saw breathing tubes on the ground and I was stepping over them, trying not to, to smash their, you know, to cut off their breathing. Um, these were like lifelines. These were, these were people who threw out those, 
those tubes. That was the sense that I had in the dream. Like they had them in the hallway because they were, they were in need of oxygen. They were in need of life. They were in need of, of refreshing. They were in need of revival. They were in need of quickening. And so I had the machine to be able to help them. And so it is with, so as, so it is with many of you, you have completed your transformational process. God has healed you. God has repaired you. God has fixed you now to the point where he, he is ready to send you out. So you are ready to begin your work. You are ready to begin your assignment. You are ready be, to begin your purpose. And so you're being sent out in this hour um, to the point where it's like, even if you don't have the help, God wants you to get started. Okay. God, even if you don't have the help, because in the beginning of the dream, I was asking for help and I didn't receive help. They just gave me a machine and told me to start going through the halls to help other people. So even, even though it looks like you, you haven't received the provision that you've been waiting on to get started, the Lord is saying, get started anyway. Like you, it's, your time is now. As you, as you start, the provision is going to come. Okay, as you begin, the provision is going to come. So I was walking and I got to the hallway and I saw this black woman. Now, for me, a lot of times um, when I see a black woman in a dream and she she looks a certain way, it always represents to me um, being a comforter. So I always relate it to the Holy Spirit. I know that the Holy Spirit is a man. I know that the, it's a it's a male spirit. But I'm I'm whenever I have that dream. Um, for whatever reason, God always reveals to me like the uh, like a black woman that's a nurturer, that's a, a loving type of person, that's a comforting type of person, and it always puts me in the frame of the mind, a frame of mind of the Holy Spirit. So, um, the Holy Spirit was like when 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 the woman when the woman that was on the ground and she was saying, "Hey, don't step on the on the on the um, on the 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 breath the breathing tubes." And I said, hey, I'm supposed to be a patient, a patient, you know, not a worker. And we both laughed. It was it was and the way I perceived it, I should say, was that the Holy Spirit was saying, be be cautious and be careful, be prudent on how you um, on how you begin this work. OK, so to speak, how you begin this work, be careful about it. And so I was like, OK, um, we laughed about it because it's it's going to be. Um, like I didn't feel like it was too hard for me to do. I didn't feel like it was something that I wasn't, um, able to do. Uh, that's why we were laughing about it because it was just like, Hey, like, gosh, like, you know, now I, it, it will be easier than you think to get started. Okay. It will be easier than you think to get started and it will be a joy. You will find, you will take joy in it. Okay. And so when I ran up to the person that I knew, um, I was trying to get help from that person. But that person was very um, standoffish with me and they didn't want me to know what they were doing because they weren't working on the hospital's computer. They were working on their own laptop and they didn't want me to see what they were doing. So don't try to to expect that people that you know are going to help you get started in what you're supposed to do. God is going to send you a specific person that is going to help you um, um begin uh, to like really get going in this work. Okay. Um, the reason I say that is because after I walked away from the person that I knew, I turned around and I saw the celebrity Big Les. Now I was thinking like, what is God? Why do, why do I know her? Of course she's from New York, but I don't watch anything that she does. Or, um, I know her as a celebrity you know, dancer and choreographer, but, um, I, I, I looked at her name her real name and even how she got the name Big Les. Um, she got the name Big Les because it was given um, to her by directors to describe her muscular athletic physique and grand gymnastics ability and moves typically performed by small framed persons yet conquered by a dynamic sized woman. So um, in other words, she represented um, someone who does what others think you can't do. Okay. Um, not only that, that she represent that, like, so it's like people have looked, didn't expect you to make it. People didn't expect you to, 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 to get to the point where you've gotten now. And so I asked her for help and she immediately helped me. So she was someone that I didn't expect. When you dream about celebrities in dreams, they often represent favor. They often represent destiny helpers. Um, 
not always, but they can. And so in this instinct, that's how I perceived it, that she was a destiny helper, that someone who was ready to help me get to, um, to, to get clarity, to get understanding about what's going on um, concerning me. Because in my mindset, I was still thinking that I was a patient. And so she went over to the person who, who I knew that was sitting at the information desk or whatever it was that they were sitting at to ask them to, you know, to pull up my, my documents on the screen. So when that, that told me that she was a, um, a destiny helper, someone who's help, ready to help me get access to what I needed to get clarity. So this person that is going to come into your life as a destiny helper. God is getting ready to release a destiny helper to you. And the destiny helper that they're getting ready to release to you um, has these attributes. Hold on. I had, I wrote it down. Okay. The person that is going to come to you, this person that the Lord is going to send to you is a person who is a protector. Um, it is going to be a peaceful person. It is going to be someone who also received the promise of life. OK, um, it's going to be a person with wisdom and foresight, someone who has also shared in Christ's sufferings and his shed blood and either. Uh, um, yeah, so that's because I don't want to this part is just for me, <laughs> but. Yeah, so that's that that's the type of person that is going to God is getting ready to send into your life. This is going to be someone who's going to help you get to where you need to get to to help you gain the clarity and understanding of what your uh, of 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 what this new path is for you. And so um when when the person that I knew asked me to um you know to give my information, when I held up my wrist to show her my hospital bracelet and I saw that it was gone, I was shocked. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, whoa. But I wasn't shocked, like, where did the bracelet go? I was shocked to say, oh my God, I am a worker now because I didn't have the ID anymore of a patient, okay? Now I had, um, I, I had been given the, the um, assignment to work. So, and so that's what's happening with many of you. You are getting ready, like you, you have already received your assignment. Some of you have not begun, but the Lord is saying, get started. And as you get started, your destiny helper is going to find you, okay? Your destiny helper is gonna find you. I didn't find Big Les, she found me. Like, because when I turned around, there she was like looking at me. So, um, so and, I, and I ran up to her and I asked her for help. So this person, God is going to send someone and you'll know who that person is. It's going to be someone that you can relate to, someone that you uh, uh, um, know is in the will of God, someone that you know is divinely, it's a divine connection from the Lord. You're going to know who it is. But the Lord is saying, um, because the theme of the entire dream was I was looking for help. I was looking for help and I received that help. But it's because my transformation is complete. It is because your transformation is complete. You are getting ready to receive that destiny helper that you've been waiting on, okay? So get yourself prepared for that. That is what this dream was about. God is saying that you've been asking for help and you are about to receive it, okay? Um, and don't, don't hesitate or procrastinate any further. Get going. Like as you begin, as you start, God will give you provision. And it's funny because when the Lord had me read um, Exodus chapter 14, verse 15, that talks about, um, he says, and the Lord said unto Moses, wherefore criest thou unto me? So you've been crying out. The Lord is saying, what are you, what are you doing? Like, you, you, why are you crying out to me? Why, why, why are you crying out to me? And I've already given you the assignment. Why are you crying out to me? And you already know what to do. Speak to the children of Israel that they may go forward. So it's time to move forward. It's time to be able to encourage others. It's time to be able to uh, do the work and the assignment and the purpose to which God has called you to do. And as you begin, he's going to send you the provision that you're supposed to have. All right. So as you get going, as you start your ministry, as you start the thing that you know God has placed in your heart to do once because you have completed your journey. This is not for those who are still in the wilderness. This is for those who have completed your journey and you're just waiting for God's help to get started on what he's told you to do. He's saying, start. Start because your help is on the way. Once you get started, your help will appear. All right. 
Once you get going, your help is going to appear. That is what this dream is about. God is saying your help is on the way. Just get started. Okay. So that was the dream, guys. I pray that this dream encouraged many of you to understand because maybe some of you have been procrastinating because you've been waiting on certain finances to come in. God is saying get started now because he's going to make sure that you have what you need. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's that's the word. I pray that it blessed you. Um, take it to the Lord in prayer. If you if you feel like uh, um, you need some more clarity on this word. But I'm telling you, God, the overall theme of that word of that dream that I had was that I I was crying out for help. God put me to work and then I received the help. OK, so that's that's the overall theme. And don't expect it to come from people that you know. It's going to come from someone that you don't know. Okay? Um, and that's it. So do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel uh, so that you can get the notifications of when I'm uploading a video or going live. Hit that notification bell and you'll always be notified. Um, also, all of my information, again, is at the beginning of this channel. You just look on the home page in the, in the description part of the channel and you can find all of my information. Everything is there. Um, e if you write an email, guys, please keep the emails short. Don't make them long or else I'll have to put them on the back burner and I'll get to them at a later time because quicker email, short emails get a quicker response. If I have to read a long email, I'm going to need time to sit down and read those emails. I will read it, but I will need time. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. So like I always say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and the, all these things will be added unto you. Until the next time, guys, take care and be blessed.